Good day, Yotes. I hope all of you are doing well. I thought I'll bring you some footage today of my very first flight with a drone that my brother gave me. It's a Maverick Pro. Thanks, Boot. This is a very little handy drone. It's going to help me lots on the farm here. So while we're taking off with the drone, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of the farm. I was wondering how many of you are taking off on your cryptocurrencies and how many of you are bleeding. The last three days have been quite stressful for those who haven't went, who haven't gone through a dip before. But those who have gone through a dip before, so it is a second Christmas. Better than Boxing Day when all the gifts get given away for free. So the cryptocurrency market has been up and down over Christmas. A small little crash just before Christmas. But uh, what happened in the last three days, we lost almost 200 billion dollars in the cryptocurrency market. And it's been an amazing sale day. Time to accumulate and to buy more. And I'm quite chuffed to say that the cryptocurrencies that I'm invested in didn't dip, or didn't, they didn't even come close to their purchase price. So I stayed well in the green throughout the whole dip and I had a chance to accumulate a couple more. Oh, and those buildings on the screen that we're flying over now, that's the Marion Hill Catholic Monastery. That monastery is over 250 years old and is the Catholic headquarters in South Africa. We're leasing our land from them. So those of you who have listened to some bad advice and that made the mistake to sell in this dip and you are feeling now that you've been robbed, don't feel too bad. Look at this video clip that someone just sent me from someone being robbed in Johannesburg. And I bet all of you are thinking the same as me. Come on, dude, you drive a Porsche, chase them. So if we look at the market today, it's recovered from about 450 billion and currently trading about 530 billion. You can see when America wakes up, they either dump it or they accumulate more. And many of the coins are far up. Bitcoin was close to 9,000, it's up over 11,000. Tron is up a massive 102%. BitConnect. I don't know why people are still buying BitConnect. Bunch of scammers. Dump that coin. If you got BitConnect, sell BitConnect. That's my advice. Of course, it's my advice, my opinion. I'm not a financial nothing. I'm a farmer. I count beans. Alright, oh, check it this. Now I'm oh, let's just remove that. Wait, I'm just gonna pause here quick. Oh, now look at this. The drone is those are our security guards. We've got 24 hour armed security guards and they still steal our truck tires and everything. Oh, that's the first time they see a drone. See how the one got a fright? <laughs> Checking the security guards. Oh, the one in the back there is Thomas. He's a good guy. Uh, he's been here since we got the farm. It's about six years now. And uh, he's uh, quite a respectable guy in the local community. Hey, he's gonna shoot me. Ah, uh, Thomas. <laughs> He did ask me later if he can use the drone to go look for his goats that's running around. You see the informal settlement in the background there? Goats and cows and everything walk everywhere. And that truck standing there, they stole all my truck tires with the security guards right there. Those are all our buildings. So I'm just going to fly down to the bottom there. It's a newly planted field. Go check some germination there. But uh, let's just get back to this cryptocurrency. So if we, I'm just quickly going to go run through my favorite cryptocurrencies. Cash. I bought in at cash at, I think I bought the first time at 50 cents, that's up $1.80, it was up almost $3. Quantstamp, I bought at 29 cents I think it was. Utrust, also about 29 cents, that's up good, almost 70 cents there. And these are today's prices, in the midst of the crash. Bit degree, I suggest everyone get into bit degree, it's listed on a small little exchange at the moment. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I, I don't know why there was such a big sell off. It's still well above. I bought this on ICO. It's still well above the ICO price. I'm not concerned, but I don't know why that sell. It's a buying opportunity, I think. I don't know why that was sold off. I'll have to go and see what happened there. But degree. They pay you to study. I think it's a good cryptocurrency. And what else? Uh, Power Ledger. I bought a little bit more Power Ledger yesterday, and that's already up a couple of uh, percent, 59 percent from yesterday. Can't remember what price I bought, but it was here 70 somewhere. So, guys, when things are on sale, buy. 
So sorry covering up the screen so much. Uh, we looked at a little reservoir, that's one of the fields we just planted. I'm now flying over to the, the river where we pump our water from. It's much easier just to fly down with a drone from now on and uh, look at the river. See if you can see that little pump station on the right and now top side of the screen. Sorry, I'll get better footage. I'm still the learner flyer. Uh, that, you can see the river splits there a little bit. On the right hand side is a little gully. It's a weir that we dug in our pump stations between the trees there. Uh, now I'm using the drone just to go down to a field which is quite far from the office. And uh, this field should start germinating towards the end of the week depending on the temperature. It's very dry at the moment. We haven't had rain for a while and we actually need rain quite desperately. So I'm testing the drone to see if I can get close enough to see if they're germinating. You can see the lines there, the planted lines. No seeds are coming up. Not germinating yet. You can see the wind on the ground there as the drone gets closer to the ground. And on the way back to the office, this is uh, seed multiplication trials. Each row is a different kind of bean. And on the side here you can see our f ones that we just planted, very fresh ones. Some of them should be germinating. Uh, see if I can get low enough. Yeah, you can see on the, the line on the left hand side, far left, those are busy germinating. That's very, very fast. I think it was six days for them to come up. Still practicing to fly with this little drone. I'm sure I'll get much better. These are all new varieties. When we bring varieties into the country, we only get 55 zero seeds of each variety. And that's where we start. That's why it takes so long <coughs> to develop new varieties. Or establish new varieties, rather. These are all new ones. Some of them are looking very promising. This patch is looking very nice, very nice. And on this side, we also planted some new varieties. You can see the boards in the ground there. Nothing germinating. I don't know why I'm boring you guys with this. More, a lot more people are interested in money than where their food comes from. So hats off, where we now? Seven minutes into the video. Hats off to those who are still watching. Steven, Steven Lester, you still watching? Smash me a like, leave me a comment if you're still watching. I'm curious to know if you're still watching. Anyway, irrigating, very dry at the moment, although it looks very nice and green. This is an extremely high rainfall area, and uh, originally we had so much rain I couldn't get into the fields. And yeah, I'm telling the drone to go home, so I just tap on the go home button. It looks for the spot where it took off. I took off on that small cement slab there, next to that container that's standing next to this bottom shed, where we keep our tractors and equipment. So it is cruising home, looks for the correct altitude, I think it was set at 30 meters, orientates itself exactly the same way it was when it took off, and it looks for a safe landing zone. And there we go, that's it, I'll bring you some more videos of my Mavic Pro, it's great to fly, I hope I get a bit better with it, and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If not, make suggestions, and I'll check you guys later. Cheers, eh?